Here's a ticket from Cool Dude. And we got some screenshots, which is cool. Outlook add in disabled. Thank you, Cool Dude, for submitting this ticket. Hi, the add team links button on my meeting invite in Outlook is gone. Is there a way to bring it back? I think I've had this ticket before, like early on, like one of the early videos. The only way for me to solve it is to manually enable it and select it again in the com add ins. I was wondering if anyone else is having this issue. If there is a way to solve this, I do not want to continue. You have to go through the process just to be able to have team meetings option when I send invites. Yeah, there's something wrong with this. You're not the first one. Because like I said, if there was, there's somebody else having this issue. I would, yeah, look at this. Uh, Microsoft, there's their information protection. Uh, disabled items. This item listed below are disabled because they're prevented because they prevent that outlook from functioning correctly or your system admin administrator has disabled them through the group policy. That's not what happened. System admin didn't because you, otherwise you wouldn't be able to re-enable it. Please know that you may have to restart outlook. Okay, blah, 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 blah. So here's the add-in and it's kind of blurry, but I appreciate the screenshots. Add-in teams, add-in fast connect, Microsoft Teams. Uh, and it's this DLL. So what I would do is actually make sure that this DLL is being replaced. I mean, meaning that it's uh, reinstalled. So, uh, you could try to reinstall Outlook, but this DLL still may remain. And this adding loader.dll probably remains somewhere in System32. So, if you go to C, System32, uh, Windows, Windows System32. This is where all registry files are for 64-bit applications. And this one happens to be in the System32, most likely. It doesn't say, but it might be in Sys SysWow, which is for 32-bit. Here's SysWow or System32. It's most likely in System32. And look for it. So just do a search or scroll down. I don't know. Whatever is easier for you. And this one's called Add-in Loader add in loader add in loader dot dll it's not going to find it for me here because i don't have outlook installed uh the uh the regular outlook installed so look for it and when you find it delete it and the reason i'm saying delete it but make sure you have a backup of it uh, same thing for the first ticket about excel i forget to mention uh, before you try to open it with a 64-bit Excel, please try to make a backup of it just in case so you don't break it of that Excel file. Make sure there's a backup. Uh, I hope you didn't go away. If you watch this part of it and then you're like, okay, I'm going to go fix that, I hope you're still watching. System 32. So again, it might be in System 32 or SysWow 64. It, I guess, technically could be somewhere else, but chances are all the DLLs are in the System32 system 32 folder or SysWow64 uh, folder. Go in there and delete it, so that way you can get a fresh install of it. And this is just a, yeah, here's the notification. Outlook disabled add-in for Microsoft Teams add-in and Microsoft Office. So go in and remove this first. Remove the add-in first go in and remove it and then go and delete that dll because when you reinstall it it should be able to uh, push the newer version of dll if there is a newer version of dll and then the last thing you could do is try to repair outlook and uh yeah that that's pretty much all you can do here and here's a yeah it's the same one we looked at Okay, so I'm going to say hello, cool dude, because I've never talked to him before. You can delete the add in and then make sure that uh, what's it called? Add in loader. loader.dll is deleted 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 from system 32 i was going to say or but and system 
our SysWow 64 folder. Then reinstall the add in. If that does not work, repair Outlook. You may need to. Yeah, I was going to say you can go in and repair or recreate the new local profile for the email but I don't think I don't think that's the cause I mean there's off chance that it could be which is located the mail folder is located in the control panel inside of here you'll have a folder called mail when you go in you can recreate the new mail mail uh, profile so I'm gonna close this move on